you mentioned that uh, you actually like have no interest in staying in America. Why is that? Um, America doesn't offer as much of the benefit that I experienced, like even just in those couple months being here. I always like had an interest in Korea and I thought, you know what, one year of like just going to Korea would be great. And here I am. Three and a half years later, married with a dog. America's a wonderful place, and we're not here to escape, we're just here to expand. I would say Korea is my best assignment. I do plan on being out here for a long time. Where are you from? I'm from Springfield, Illinois, in America. How long have you been in Korea? Uh, a little over two years. I'm from Tupelo, Mississippi. I am from uh, Armenia. I've been in Korea for six years now. I'm from Russia. How long have you been in Korea? Uh, now it's already six months. I'm from the United States, Minnesota. I've been in Korea for about a year or three months. I'm from Russia, but I'm Armenian. My parents are Armenian, but I lived in Russia. I moved to Korea in August 2021. I think it's been almost three years. Uh, I'm from the United States, Minnesota. I've only been in Korea for two months now. I'm from Nigeria. I'm from El Paso, Texas. So my parents are from Turkey, but I was born and bred in London. I've been living in Korea for three and a half years now, coming up to four in October. Why did you decide to come to Korea? If I'm honest, I was a bit like at a loss. Like I got, because of Corona in the UK, you get furloughed. So the government gives you, your government slash com company gives you a little bit of money to basically fire you. But yeah, like made, make you redundant, like they have to let go of people. So I think I got about 5,000, 5,000 pounds. So that was quite a lot of money. And um, I always like had an interest in Korea and I thought, you know what, one year of like just going to Korea would be great. And literally one year and leave. And here I am, three and a half years later. <laughs> she has not left. <laughs> yeah. Married. Married, married. Yeah with a dog. <laughs> well, I was really interested ever since I did a, a semester abroad in college in visiting a country that was very different from the US, but I already had some interest in the like pop mainstream culture. So I visited and I really had a good experience um, during my couple months here. And I had no interest in staying in America. So <laughs> I said, let's try to actually make a life here. You mentioned that uh, you actually like, have no interest in staying in America. Why is that? Among all the countries in the world where we're experiencing a lot of the same issues like income inequality, the cost of living going up, um, America doesn't offer as much of the benefit that I experienced like, even just in those couple months being here. Main things being things like safety, and uh, I think a slightly healthier democracy and more public services being offered to um, the populace, which was something that really struck me and actually personally matters to me a lot. So I wanted to see what it was like to live in a country that seemed to offer more of those core things that I prioritize. Oh, wow. We're in Korea to try to find a better life. We love the burgeoning entertainment business here, uh, the media complex. We know that Netflix is buying up a whole bunch of like Korean episodes, Korean shows. Yeah. And we got super excited about that because we're both kind of in the entertainment uh, field. There was some rich opportunities down here that we kind of wanted to check out. But going back to like your question, um, I would say, honestly, there's plenty of opportunities in California. There's plenty of, of opportunities yes, in America. America's a wonderful place, and we're not here to escape, we're just here to expand. So I'm originally from Taiwan, and I moved to America, like California, around when I was 11 or 12. So I have lived in California for about 20 years now, like two decades, trying not to reveal my age here. But I have seen enough, and I feel like I learned enough about being in America, I wanted something new. I wanted a change. I want to experience like learning a different culture. And I have told him that too. Like I do want to raise my kid in a place where you can meet multiple like different cultural pe type people speaking different languages. That's why we even thought about Europe to begin with. I thought about Switzerland actually, but that was a bit harder to get into compared to Sweden. Then when we got to Sweden, it's like, okay, this is not for us. And we started thinking like, you know what? Maybe Korea. I love skincare, so personally, I'm very excited to be here. I mean, like, you have an amazing skin, by the way. Thank you so much. Wow. That's so sweet. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> I don't know. I just like the language. When I first saw, like, K-drama, I was really into learning Korean. And then somehow I came here to study, uh, like, for my master's degree. And then I started working uh, in K-beauty brand. And now I work here, like, for four years. 
out of six. How were you able to like make that move from your country to Korea? It was not so easy because I wasn't a student of linguistics. I was studying arts and for arts, when you're studying arts, you don't have much, uh, you know, scholarships for art students. So I basically, I participated in Korean speaking competition and the university just picked me and they offered me a scholarship. So I came to Korea and I studied uh, in a city called Cheonju and then I moved to Seoul for work. I actually started back then in 2017 when I first saw BTS, like that was the thing. Then I started working for Korean embassy in Russia and yeah, yeah, it's been like, I, I worked for them for three years, three years and a half and then I was like, I, I just got to move to Korea, like I, I can do it now so and I, I could speak like some Korean and yeah, this is why yeah, my journey started from BTS and then it was my work and then we're here in Korea. How were you able to like work for the Korean embassy back home? I just got the opportunity to work there and but I didn't speak like any Korean, not a single word. My major was, it was English and Chinese actually. So this is why I was like, okay, I at least can speak English and I'm very interested in Korean culture. I can do it, just please hire me. And then yes, yes, I, I could do it. And I think it was just all because my passion and I just love the culture and could understand them that was the thing i guess and do you see yourself like living in korea long term now as i'm doing here in my business i have a language school so it's like basically my, my work is it is a remote work and i can work here so and as I, I mentioned i love living in korea like the culture and the food and everything here and the weather so i think yes i think like at least for maybe like three or five years maybe I can see myself here in Korea. I don't know what, what's going to be next, but now it's Korea. Military orders. I've been to a lot of countries. I've been to 30 countries. I would say Korea is in my top three. Um, and this has been the best place that I've lived so far. I love the fashion. Like, for example, like you meet people like, like you, like the man behind the camera. That, You're amazing. Yeah, that I could bond with. Um, you don't really get that in Germany and England and stuff like that. People aren't the same. They don't have the same aesthetics that I like being around. I would say Korea is my best assignment. I do plan on being out here for a long time and just continue to grow. I do mission work. I work for God and myself. What brought you to Korea? I heard about a beautiful nation called Korea. One of my friends asked me to come around and see how things happen here. So I decided to come around and see how beautiful it is. And when I saw how good it is and how warm the people are, very hospitable. So I decided to stay. So like how long have you been in Korea? Oh, I've been here for more than four years. Call it four years and six months now. And how has your time been out here so far? Oh, it's been good, honestly. It is true that you don't expect perfection everywhere. You know, it's normal. In every nation you have little things and you have big big things you know but honestly it's been much much better than it's been uh, unacceptable it's been more acceptable than unacceptable so i love it here already two years ago i just started watching korean dramas and i fell in love with aesthetic like the beautiful cinematics and like beautiful people stylish so yeah that's why i was like oh i really wanted to visit this country do you see yourself living in korea long term yeah for sure because even of course being immigrant in any country i guess it's kind of really difficult but for nowadays i still see a lot of advantages of living here so yeah there's like my dream to stay in Korea as long as it's possible. Do you see yourself settling down in Korea? Um no no I do not I mean it's a be it's a beautiful country but uh no I'm, I'm actually gonna be going to Japan next year so I think I'm gonna fall in love with Japan I, I, I haven't traveled much I'm only 23 so I need to experience a lot of the world still left so maybe one day I might be like hey I miss Korea a lot more than what I thought I would. Well, before I came here, uh, I actually didn't know much about Korea, my, and I wanted to leave America for a while. So I did a lot of research on places to go, and uh, Asia, I wanted to definitely want to go to Asia, and Korea was the best option for me. Just I heard it's very safe here, and the transportation is good, so I landed on Korea and came here. Is there like a Korean culture type of thing going on back home? I know my sister. In her school, she's part of this uh, K-pop club. So just the music and the shows is very popular and trendy in America right now. So I seems like a lot of people are trying to come here. Now I've decided to like fully move to Korea. Um, the reason is because like when I came out here, the economy was like a lot better, um, a lot less crime, and very nice and kind, genuine people. And 
I love the scenery out here. I love the vibes out here, and I really love like connecting with people out here. So I decided I want to stay a lot longer than just a regular vacation. What is life like, you know, just out here compared to, you know, like back home? Or do like you've just been here for like two months? Well, there's a lot more to do, I feel like, and there's a lot more opportunity because for me, I'm a musician, so I feel like there's a lot more people to like work with and connect with, and I feel like my talent is more appreciated. And I feel like that it's overall just a better experience. You say like you're a musician, like what, what type of music do you make? Uh, I make like kind of like melodic hip hop kind of music. Um, yeah, but it's been really interesting because I thought my kind of music, uh, people wouldn't like it out here, but there's surprisingly like a lot of people out here that like, like that genre of music. How long does yourself live in your career? I'd say at minimum at least a few years, but I'll have to see how it goes. You know, I want to travel more as well, so. We'll see. So would you say, you know, like just coming out here to Korea, like has been the best decision like you've ever made? Jun has been the best decision and my dog has been the best decision. It has been the best decision of my life. Because if I didn't, I wouldn't have met my husband. I wouldn't have had my baby Spurs, my dog. And I wouldn't have had the mindset I have now. And like the way of flour I flourished and my, my way of thinking has changed completely. So. I definitely think, like, I'm thankful that I made that step. And there were loads of hardships, but I learned <laughs> a lot. What is one advice you'd give to other foreigners that would like to come out of Korea? I would definitely say don't expect things to go easy or don't expect things to go your way or, like, be responsible for yourself and don't put yourself in, like, victim mindset. Like, take responsibility for everything. Stop pitying yourself. If something's gone wrong, just be like, okay, I made a mistake here, we can change that for the next time. And even if you haven't made a mistake, then there's things that you can do differently. So don't give up like at the first thing that goes wrong, stay and fight for it. And you know, like things will go right eventually, but you shouldn't give up if you want to stay. Yeah, if you want something to work, don't give up. <laughs> Thank you for your time today. Thank you so much.